Right, this is uh, William Littlewood and uh, Christine Hogg, and they're going for M4 and D1, explaining and evaluating the effects of four contemporary shoes. All right, okay. off we go, fellas. Contemporary shoe and it's about uh, drugs. Uh, Lance Armstrong was a good example. He won several championships. A good example of that would be Tour de France, but um, he was using drugs and um, he was putting drugs into his blood so that he could last longer on his... Um, when he was doing it on his bike and stuff, so um, it enhances his performance. And then uh, a second example was Dwayne Chambers, um, who were a sprinter and he were found using steroids to um, enhance his performance, um, to make him sprint faster and um, go longer, um, so he could win races. Um, another example would be Robbie Fowler, who were uh, taking drugs, an example of cocaine, what he was taking, um, while his career was still intact, um, he could have like an anti performance when you're using drugs and then I don't know. Um he then stopped playing um stopped playing football altogether so he could to come off drugs and um going to rehab and stuff like that so I could like take his mind and um focus on his career and stuff. So he eventually got back into football but um he, he was using drugs outside of football and that gonna be with wrong crowd. Um another example would be Oscar Pistorius. Um found needles in his house and um he were accused of using steroids. Um when accusations were raised about him um, killing his girlfriend um, or his wife, um, but steroids enhance performance and uh, can make him go longer and uh, last a longer duration during exercise and stuff like that. Be a good example. Contemporary issue number two um, is about the gym, NRG and Keyflet, um, and the first one is about money. Um, if there's money and you didn't have it like you didn't have enough um you were not able to pay and attend the gym so mm -hmm. obviously it stops you from training and like from physical exercise if you want to keep fit um the second one is health initiatives if you had a health condition and it would be hard to participate in the gym session if you were to train with one of the gym members etc yeah um so therefore you'd have to tell the gym instructor before you took part in the sessions so he would he would know what your condition was, so he could work around that. Um, the number three is gender issues. Um, if you are a woman and you are uh, in the gym, where there's like men training, you think like you're the odd one out. So it might intimidate you or make you feel uncomfortable when you're training. So it stops you from doing the things you want to do. Um, number four is age limit. An age limit can affect going to the gym as you may be too young um, and it can be an issue for participation for younger age people to be involved in keeping fit. So if they're wanting to improve the fitness levels, um, it stops them from obviously increasing that as they're not allowed to use the gym. Um, so this is the third, the third and final one, uh, contemporary issue. It's about gender. Um, Just gen split this one up between these and another. Yeah, two yeah, each. Two two each, each yeah. Uh, girls TV advertising and programs. Um, not enough girls sports put on TV um, because they believe that nobody will watch it and affects their performance. There was like England, you know, like the World Cup. Yeah. Like, um, like as men's, it's like obviously it's more popular, but it shouldn't be like that. It should be like equality. There should be an equality between them, but mm -hmm. like it should be. You should put a certain amount of women's football on TV and a certain amount of men's. But so like the more popular channels like ITV and stuff, it's, you never see women's football on there, or it's never, you never see it advertised on ITV or on the main channels what people watch. So it, girls' football is not made public really. And uh, number two, uh, a second example is about rugby at Six Nations women's. Um, the women's Six Nations is less frequently on TV compared to the men's. Um, whereas, obviously, the men's is always advertised before it's going to take part. Um, so, obviously, everyone knows about it, they're ready to watch it, or if they want to attend, they can do. Whereas, the women's is not advertised on TV, so no one knows really when it is, etc. Um, the third one. third one um, it's about cricket and girls in cricket. Uh, girls can play cricket like um, within the two years above their age. So like, uh, say if they're younger, they can play like uh, at a higher level. Like say like if they if they're good at what they do, like in cricket, and they enjoy it and stuff, and they feel like they can uh, play at high level, they can play um, say like at the fourteen, they can play.
can play at an age group of 16. Yeah. Um, which is something like boys can't do, you know, like boys, boys allow only like play at their level. Um, like, and girls can go um, under as well, they can play like a year younger because because of like, it's not as popular as men's cricket or, but that's not, not how it should be. And girls can also play rugby league um, till, only till 12, whereas boys can play it beyond. And then, um, because it, after after like um, age 12, it comes a contact spot and people think that girls are, I don't know, strong enough or have the correct structure in body to play like uh, higher. So they'll stop it when the girls get to 12, which is an issue because I don't think, I think that if they want to play, they should be entitled to play Good. any sport they want. And the fourth one is Richard Keys and Andy Gray incident from Sky Sports. Um, the reason for this was because um, they were sexist towards Sean Williams, who was the linesman for one of the games. I think it was Liverpool and Wigan, I think. Yeah. Um, like two years ago. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Um, and obviously she's a female linesman, so what they've said has like affected her and they've got done for it. Um, obviously, men think sometimes that girls don't know rules about football because mainly it is for men. Um, but if she's wanted to do that from obviously what she's wanted to do, it should be fair enough for her to do it. Because if she, if she if she if she's there, she should know what she's doing, shouldn't she? So. Mm -hmm. about it then. Right, are we done then? Yeah, we're done. Right, okay.